Hello, 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 hello. Oh my goodness, am I naked? Am I sitting here with no clobber on? No, I'm not. I've got my top on. Look, it's a very low cut one. But at least this way, you can only see partial bingos. Partial bingos. Do you know what I mean? Right now, what I was going to do, if you can see this, look. This is my tablet, right? Because I was going to do the perfume giveaway today, but it ain't charged. Look, won't charge. I think I need a new charger. So, what I'm going to have to do is maybe not the video after this one but one after that i might just do a just a perfume the perfume giveaway but also someone um called brain great adventures or brian but he, he never got back to me so i won't know he was the winner of uh, these glasses and if you oh, I gather it's the heat. Uh, these glasses and a few other bits and bobs, and they haven't got in contact with me. So, um, please, brain, if you do want these within the next couple of days, let me know. Otherwise, I am going to have to re gift them on. Sorry, darling. I can't keep them forever. So, uh, if you are watching this, Brain's Great Adventure, Brain Great, you did win this. So, if you are interested, hit your girl up in the. Uh, emails um and then obviously i'm gonna do in a couple of videos time the perfume giveaway i might have to get a new lead for this to charge it because i can't do you the giveaway on my phone because i'm using my phone to record and the only other thing i've got is a laptop you know what i mean anyhow and you i have a little sheen haul today um so me and sheen we are gonna fall out all right we really are but before i do you know that time of day i said you know that time of day get them boopy whoopies going oh please yes so it's time for lisi look no it's time for laugh on the loo with Lizzie Lou. laugh on the loo with your lisi Lou. yes that's me by the way What's this saying here? What's this? What's the difference between England and a tea bag? And other quintessentially British buffoonery? Gil blimey. How long does it take right, how long does it take to ship tea from China to England? Ooh, long time. Is that like you want to get an Uber Typhoon? I don't get it. Ooh, long time. Ooh, long time. Ooh, long time. Can anyone enlighten me? I've got a freaking clue. Right. Why do hipsters only drink iced tea? Because ice was water before it was cool. Who wrote this book? I'm going to go and beat them up. Contains some adult humour. Let's continue, all right? There's got to be some that's decent, all right? Bacon and eggs walk into a bar one morning. The bartender glances up and says, Sorry, we don't serve breakfast. Boom! Min nation. That's all I can say. Right, you also know that time of day. It's time for my one thousand... 227 facts that are still yet to blow some of your socks off on yesterday. Don't know what's happened here, my tooth, yeah? I think I've got gingivitis, yeah? And my gum's all gone a bit. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. It's gone a bit like a funny colour. Look, you see that? Probably all them pills I'm on. And don't come for me and say my teeth look yellow. They're not the whitest of teeth, I'm not going to lie. They used to be. But when you have lots of coffee and smoke five or six fags a day, the gnashes can go a bit yellower. Do you know what I mean? I ain't got the best gnashes. I ain't got the worst. But I ain't got the best. Anyway. The word gas 
was invented by me because that's all I do is fart. The word gas was invented by the Flemish. Flemish! That sounds like a no, Flemish. I'm a bit Flemish today. But it's spelled F L E M I S H. F L E F L E M I S H. The word gas was invented by the Flemish chemist John Baptiste von Helmont, 1579 to 1644. He also invented the word blast. But it didn't catch on. Well, I don't believe that because if you put for me after that, blast for me, that's a swear word, right? Anyway, what would a blast mean then? Gas and blast. Gas bus. John Baptiste. The word writer. The word gasoline doesn't come from gas. It comes from casoline. Casoline? After John Castle, founder of the publisher Castle and Co, who was the first to sell it commercially. There you know, there you go, something you don't learn every day. I mean, we call it petrol. I think Americans call it gasoline. You do, don't you? But we call it petrol. Yeah. Or if you're posh, petroleum spirits. Yeah. Right. Peter Mark Roggett, 1779 to 1869, invented the thesaurus and the slide rule. Ain't got a clue what the thesaurus is. Ain't got a clue what the slide rule is. And I haven't got a weavers who Peter Mark Roggett even is. So that's gone right over one's head. Edwin Beard Budding, 1775 to 1846, invented the lawnmower and the adjustable spanner. Well, I'll tell you something, Edwin, you have saved a hell of a lot of people a lot of work and caused a lot of husbands a lot of grief. Having to go out and mow that lawn, all right? I sometimes think I could do with a lawnmower to mow the nethers because... I have to blind shave, all right? I haven't seen it in years. Don't know what it looks like. I've got overhang. Ain't got a clue. I mean, I can sometimes feel it's bushy and all, but I could have a little mower downstairs. You know what I mean? Up there for thinking, down there for dancing, as they say. Yes, Edwin Beard budding. Excuse me, I have an itchy ear roll. Anyway, that's my one. 1,227 facts. Oh, didn't work that time. Shame. And that time. And that... Oh! To blow your socks off. Just smudged up my lipstick. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what? I can honestly say today, I'm feeling a little bit happier. The OCD's still there. That's never going to go. My brain's had it, all right? My brain's had it. It's had it. And I ain't going to ever stop being on these rancid pills. But today, for the first time in months and months and months and months and months and months, my back has stopped hurting me today. And my elbow. I can't, I can't believe it. So it's made me a bit happy. Because even though I still feel ill, I feel ill every day. It's a normality for me. Pardon me. Pass the trough, Lisa. Lisa Ruth. But um, it's a normality for me to be ill because I feel ill every day. Although you lot would never know it. Like I say, people watching me, I probably think there's nothing wrong with her. Look at her. She's sprightly and lightly and whatever you want to call me. I'm glad you feel that way. I wish I did, but you know... I can honestly say today, at least while I don't feel well, I haven't got the added pain of the back and the elbow. Now, and I've got arthritis in the elbow as well. Ooh, I had a, a scan. They said it was abnormal, but to be expected. I don't know what that means. Did I tell you that already? I might have told you that already, actually. I'm thinking. Anyway, enough talking about me, all right? This ain't the Lisa show, all right? Don't I look ugly today? Look. Look at my ugliness. What's wrong with my face, though? It looks so ugly. Ugh. I've got bags and my makeup's gone on. I'm not sure about this, do. I think I look a bit 
better looking with dark hair. I don't like my look today. I'm putting my glasses on, I look better. <laughs> it is what it is. If I'm ugly, I'm ugly. That's just one of them things. Alright? Not ugly, right? I'm not ugly, but some look ugly today. Today I look ugly. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on with this. I've got a little tiny sheen haul with some good bits, I'd say. And some not so good bits, alright? So bear with you, girl, and we shall get on with this sheen haul. Anyway, first and foremost, I got these. They're called I'm Me Bobo. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? I'm Me Bobo. I'm Me Bobo. Not that I'd write a song called Amy Bobo, but anyway. Um, they are earplugs. Like so. And you can put them in for either going on an airplane. Because well, last time I was on an airplane, I got something terribly wrong with me. I thought I was dying. All right. Okay. I can't remember what it's called. My sister told me what it's called. I can't remember. But anyway, or for if you don't want to hear people snoring. So, I got them. These are actually not for me. I've got two pairs, actually. One pair is a really good pair and one pair is not so good pair. One's for me and one's for Callie Moo. Um, but anyway, I don't know how much they was. You know I don't know. Don't ask me. I ain't got a clue. Anyway, I do remember how much these was because I thought I'm getting two of them. Now, these are uh, brushes for your bottles um uh, like you know when you're cleaning your bottles like cleaning your <sighs> excuse me that looked a bit family friendly <laughs> all right if you're cleaning your bottles like that and they were 29p like so to clean your bottles all right like your bottles what I mean by bottles? I don't mean bottles. I don't even mean bottles. What an idiot. Uh, glasses. Long stemmed glasses. Now, like you've got them glasses that, listen, I don't want anyone to tell, don't any of you there, any of you people from London, don't ever even try and tell me you ain't nicked a Toby Carvery glass. I have. I've got a couple of them, them long ones. I ain't no thief, but I tell you. I've got a couple of them glasses, all right? Must admit, I never picked them up. I didn't feed them with my own hands. But someone did put two in my bag. It weren't me, all right? It was a very long time ago. I've had them a few years. Listen, I reckon half of England have got most of Toby Carvery, Carlsberg glasses, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I've got a couple of glasses like that, so... Um, yeah got two of them not because it's one for each glass but i just thought for 29 p no i'm lying it was 27p was it 27p and i thought you can't come on what i say you can't you can't go wrong so two of them i thought it was 27p each just stretch out my uh my leg uh and then i got this let me open it so you can see it is a little heart but what it's for you know, sometimes like you might, you've got a, say like you've got a t-shirt and you're like, ooh, I want to like fold it up at the sides or whatever. I mean, I suppose you could use it for a scarf tie, like a scarf pin as well, whatever they're called. It's hard to show you. But yeah, so you can just like pull your material through there. I thought it was really nice. So yeah, but that's going in an advent. It's actually not, I say for me, it's not for me, it's for, for an advent. So that'll go over there. Sorry for my shot, my loves. Um, then I bought this. This was about one pound something. <sighs> God, I've got to try and get into it first. Not that I think it's going to make it any easier for me, really, folks. I just don't. But we'll see, because you know, like when you when you're on a lot of pills and you're popping them little buggers out every day, it hurts your fingers. So I see this on there. Oh yeah. So obviously you slide you slide in the dispense not dispenser, you know, the, like the pill, the pill packet, and you put it under there and press. 
and it will just pop out the pills for you. Do you know what I mean? I thought that was really good. So I thought, I'm getting it. I am. Uh, then I see these uh, little evil eye bracelets. Um, one is for me and one is for Callie. And yeah, I'm just going to put it around my ankle, really. So two of them to keep away the evil eyes. Evil eyes. You're just a devil woman with evil on your mind. That's uh, Cliff Richard and Devil Woman. Even though it's got nothing to do with evil eyes, I just thought I'd put that in. So that's them. And they were about... You know me, I don't know the prices. You know. I just don't. But they weren't dear. Just know that. Then I got... This was down to about £2.8p, I believe. And it is... Let's open it. Hang on a minute, what size is it even? I don't know. But it was in the flash sale. Oh, all of this was in the flash sale, by the way. That's why it's all so cheap, even for Sheen. So this is like a little tie-dye t-shirt as such, like so. And I think I'm gonna give that, it's nice though, isn't it? Like grey blue it is. I think I'm gonna give that to my Moo Moo. And like I say, it was, it was, it was pennies. It's, Pennies, you know what I mean? It's pennies, it's pennies. Uh, then I got, oh, this is another set of earbuds. But I'm not, I think these might be the better ones. They are, they are. You can tell because they're in like a little plastic case. Look at the funny shape of them. Look at that, oh, mm. I don't know what that is, meant to be a gal. <laughs> I'd be laughing. Oh, you better not be laughing, should I say? Um, yeah, so that's them. I won't take them out. You can see them from now. And again, don't ask me how much they was. They weren't cheap. It, they weren't cheap. They were cheap. It was all in the flash sale. I'm flashing today. Look. Flash your boobies, even though I ain't got none. Flash your boobies, even though I'm flat as a pancake. Flat as a pancake. Sparrow's kneecaps. Bee stings, fried eggs, jelly tops. I'm just trying to think of all the things you can say for small. Boom. Uh, next thing I got is this, and I think this was about 75p. Hang on. I'm trying to... Do you know what? I really should bring some scissors with me. Hang on. One minute. Got some. Because, you know what I mean? I can't really use me, keep using my nails. Oh. These scissors, look, they're about as good as me nails. That's it. So, this is to clean your makeup brushes. And again, I think it was about 58p or something. So, it's got like this hard a bit there. So, you just clean your makeup brushes. I've got to clean my makeup brushes. When, it, when I first see it, I thought it was a soap dish. I thought, ugh, I wouldn't order that. That's rank. It was. <laughs> Just as well. Uh, anyway, then I got this, and this is for collecting your hair. You know, like when you're in the bath or whatever, you've washed your hair, so you just put that at the. It ain't really the, the bestest of colours, but I'll only put it in the bath when I'm washing my hair or whatever to collect the hairs. Um, yeah, and then you just take the hairs off. Bob's your uncle fan as your auntie, as you well know. And that's it. So that's for the bath. Again, pennies. Don't ask. I don't know. I know. I know. You must think, Lise, come on, mate. Just tell us the prices. But I just don't think about it. I don't know. And I haven't got the time. If I sat down writing all the prices down, I wouldn't be able to do as many little videos. Anyhow, any you then I got these for, I can't open them because they are a Christmas present for my friends. It says, the works of Claude Monet. So, it's this was 89p. I think that's fantastic price. 89p, I do remember that. There's some I will remember and some I don't. But it's got all of the um, sort of little pictures in of what Claude Monet painted or whatever. 
And I know she's into things like that, so I thought, stocking filler. Yeah? For her. So that's for my friends. 89p. You can't go you can't go wrong. They have pretty pictures as well, wouldn't they? I mean, maybe I could have opened them. I don't know. No, I won't. Then. I won't. Uh, anyway, then, right, I don't know if you see in my last haul, I bought these um, cigarette tips. Oh, what an absolute load of dog poo they were. Well, as soon as you put it on the end of the ciggy and put the fag in your mouth, I was like dying of death trying to suck it. I was like, and I just couldn't get anything out of it because my cigarettes are light anyway, let alone trying to suck something out of them when you've got a filter tip on. I swear it would have got rid of me double chin though if I kept it up. God, blimey. Anyway, so I found these other ones. They're called The Real Man. And they are cigarette tips. Don't know what they're meant to do. They kind of look like back in the Charleston. Do, 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 do. Back in the Charleston eras, you know. The name's Bond. Oh. What the hell? Makes a noise. know what? That's what they look like. That's intriguing me now. Because I need to put my glasses on and read the back. These were actually nearly £2, I think. So, they weren't cheap, cheap. Chirpa, chirpa, cheap. Chirpa, chirpa, cheap. Chirpa, chirpa. What's it saying? Illuminate cigarette. Oh, sorry, not illuminate. Eliminate cigarette tar. Include nicotine and other harmful ingredients. And to keep cool and refreshing flavour to cigarettes. Apron to prevent leakage of smoke, oil spilled. What? Smoke cigarettes, smoke oil in about 10 clear appropriate. That was all googly doogly googly woke -googly to me. That is somebody, definitely, who isn't very good at writing the British language. But anyway, I'll try them. <sighs> so, anyway, then I got these. Do you remember in one of my other hauls, I bought the bracelet? Um, the peacock bracelet. Well, I'll come across the actual peacock earrings. Let's get them out. Oh, come on. Oh, they are beautiful. You know I like big earrings. All right. I don't do anything half measures me. Oh, I like them. I like them. I do. Yes. <laughs> I like them. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They go with the bracelets. So I've got a little set there. All right. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Uh, and then, right, so I see these, yeah, I've already tried it, don't work, well, I didn't actually really attempt it, because I knew. Now, it's meant to be finger protection, right, so you put one on like this, this finger protector, yeah, and what you do, when you have a really itchy bum, um, you scratch it with one of these, and it prevents any kinds of residue, um, you know, from your backside, from your nethers, or any nasty, unwanted smells um, from your, your nethers. But I've already tried it, it didn't work, because, uh, yeah, it just scratched me a bit, and, yeah, the smell wasn't all that, you know, wasn't all that great, I made me joke. <laughs> right the Fatara Par and Eugene Bougine right because they bite me the little sods I thought you know when I put my finger in there they'll have my finger off I thought if I put one of these on and go Eugene Bougine Dara Bara but listen I can even feel myself pushing that and it hurts they'll have my finger off still so I don't know what I'm going to use them for I haven't got any idea finger puppets maybe I don't know you lot should know me by now. You lot should know me by now with my jokes, all right? 
I've been bitten by a mosquito or something. Why are they still alive in the nearly the winter? Look. I oh, know you can't really see, can you? But I have been bitten by a mosquito and it's bitterishing. Anyway, next I got, I thought these were good. Right, now they, they, they look like zips. Right, let me open them, let me open them. But they're not. What I've got them for, well, are zips actually. That's the, that's the truth of it. But what you can do, like, you know, say if you break a zip. I just thought I'd keep them just in case I have a needle. Say if you break a zip on a purse or a zip on a bag or a zip on your jeans or whatever. This is just a quick repair. See that opens like that, and then it can clip on whatever. I wonder if that bit opens too. It must do. I don't know. Anyway, there's four different colours there, as you can see. So I've got them. They, again, they were all oh, just pennies, really. Pound a pen, penny a penny. You know what I mean? So I've got them. Uh, and then. I've got absolutely nothing in that one, must have fallen out. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous, all right? I'm going to put them in right now, actually. I'm going to take these out and put them in because I like them. She's just a devil woman with evil on her. Beware the devil woman, she's going to get you. Oh. Right, okay, so they're earrings, um, like so. But I love this. Look at this. Let me put them in. Da, 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 da. Right, open. Open sesame. Get in there. The hole. Oh, go blimey. Have I found it? Oh, I have, yeah. What do you reckon? I like them. I think they're. I think they're beautiful. All right. And I got these ones the other day from Peacocks, two ninety nine. I do look a bit like pirates, don't I? Pirates of the Caribbean. But and, and really, I needed one that size and one a bit smaller. But I couldn't find one, so I just thought, you know what? Just whack them in there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I've got one more thing to show you. One more thing to show you. One more thing to show you. And this is called Brow Super Fix Twelve Hours. Let's get into it. All right. Da, 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 da. Why have I got that song now? My bloody brain. Do you ever get that? Like a, it's like an earworm, isn't it? You get a brain, a brain stuck in your brain. I was gonna say, I ain't even got a brain. I tell ya, left school at thirteen, brainless. Be what? Get off my finger. Do you hate that when pack bits of packets stick to ya? They stick to your fingers like static electricity. So that's what it is. Let's have a look inside. Let's take a look inside. All right. I don't even know what I was thinking of. It's clear. So I was the brow fixer, but hang on, hang on. Let's try it. I've hardly got any brows left to bleed and fix. I don't suppose we're going to know because I ain't got much brow left. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that is machine all, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is your kind of video, please hit the like and please hit the subscribe um, and the notification bell. It will tell you every time that I upload. Uh, as I always say, um, thank you to all my beautiful, wonderful, fantastic, amazing, delectable... Oh, intellectual, I just can't think of any more words. Subscribers, uh, all the... 
existing ones or my new ones i'd like to thank you very much thank you for subbing to me if you have and if you haven't but you watch my videos well make my day and subscribe to my channel please um uh, as i say it probably be not the video after this but the one after that i will do the perfume giveaway and if brain great adventures doesn't get in contact with me then i will be redoing hang on a minute i say that let me have a look no Look, I'm still not charging, so I will have to definitely do that uh, in the next couple of videos. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sending you all lots of love and positivity and whatever else, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.